Hello and welcome to Hibs Talk News. I'm your host as always, Gavin, and let's just get into it. Hibs have come out and announced three friendlies. The first two being away, firstly to Lunlithgow on June 30th and away to Berwick on July 4th. And then we'll be at home at Easter Road against Tony Mowbray's Blackburn for Paul Hanlon's testimonial. And then only four days later, on July the 12th, we will have our first Europa League first qualifying round first leg. Which is today being revealed that we will be lucky enough to miss out on teams like Copenhagen and Maribor due to the great news that Hibs will be seeded. This narrows down the pool of who our opposition will be, but rather than just listing them out here, we will break them down in a podcast next week. This week we're doing a transfer window special, but next week we'll go into a European special talking about the potential opponents and who we'd like to see. The next bit of news we've got is Andy Murray taking on a mentorship role with Hibs Academy. The details are still a bit unclear about how this mentorship scheme will work. However, this follows the news that Ryan Portress and Fraser Murray have signed up to Murray's management company, 77 Sports Management. Next, it's came out that Jamie McLaren is back in the Australia squad. Now, before we get too excited for Jamie, this is a provisional squad again that is now due to injury some players have had to pull out they've got either 26 or 27 players in the training squad which is going to be narrowed down to 23 at the deadlines mclaren now has four days of training plus a game against czech republic to prove to his manager that he deserves to be on that plane to russia and in our last two bits of news today both coming from the daily record so pinch of salt potentially required here league one outfit plymouth have apparently tried to make an offer to Leanne Dempster to become their new chief executive, although Leanne Dempster has not even begun quite a conversation with them. Apparently unfinished business at Easter Road, which is great to hear. She's done a fantastic job and hopefully continues that into next season and builds upon the first season we've had back in the SPL. And that will require some new additions. And according to the Daily Record, again, pinch salt. Hibs are very close to a deal to get Stevie Mallon in. Of course, some of you will remember Stevie Mallon playing against us when he, with his time at St Martin. He had a move to Barnsley, which initially due to an injury and then change of manager did not go as planned. And Barnsley have now been relegated to League One and he is, Mallon is apparently on the way out. So, and according to the Daily Record, he's on his way to Hibs. So I hope you enjoyed that news update. Our podcast will be up tomorrow night i'd imagine if not wednesday morning and that'll be a transfer special it'll be myself dave and Stephen, and murray's phoning in as well and we're gonna run through if we were neil lennon what would we do in this transfer window and watch out for the details on how to win a custom flag from casual attires in that video slash podcast i think this is going to happen quite a bit i finished recording and editing the podcast last night and then I see that there's uh, another story came out. This one regarding John McGinn. Apparently Brendan Rodgers has added him to his transfer target list. Also some rumours in regards to Scott Allen. Whether he would maybe be part of the deal. Or whether his contract is going to be terminated by Celtic. So we'll watch this space and we'll discuss this more in tonight's podcast. Hope you enjoyed the video folks. Click on my face to subscribe. Click here to check out Murray's channel. And click here roughly for the last podcast.